Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here. Today I'm filming at Puck Stop with Toby over here, and we're going to be taking a look at how to buy your first hockey equipment. We're going to be going through the things that you need to keep in mind, and of course answering the pressing questions, roughly how much do I need to look at spending. So Toby, taking a look at the different skates that we have over here, what do I need to consider when I'm buying my first pair for hockey? Okay, so the first thing to consider is how often you're going to be playing. If you're going to be playing maybe once or twice a week, you can start with a lower end boot, but if you may be a bigger guy or playing more often, maybe a more expensive boot will give you better support and last a bit longer. So taking a look at the different ranges that you have, I've noticed that you have the same skate and different models, the price goes up and up and up. What, what do you get when you pay more or less? So the main difference within the same range is the stiffness of the boots. So the base model is maybe a little bit softer, as you go to the top model is quite a lot stiffer, so you get more support around your ankles. Cool. And um, taking a look at my fit, I'm a size 9 in like shoes and trainers, um, what size would I be with skates? Okay, so normally from your UK shoe size we drop a size, uh, because the skates come in a box size which is slightly smaller, um, but if possible we would advise coming to try them on because different brands and different models do fit slightly differently. So keeping in mind the points about my build and um, how much I'm going to be playing a week, which is going to be roughly about once or twice a week, within the Reebok range of skates, what one would you recommend for myself? I'd recommend something like the Reebok 26K because it's a good mid-level skate with good support for the money. Now taking a look at the um, different shorts that we have, what are the things that I need to keep in mind while I'm getting my first pair? So again with the shorts there's a range. The lower level shorts don't offer quite the same protection. As you move throughout the range you get more padding, better protection and more padding in different areas as well. Also things to consider is the different fit. Different brands tend to fit slightly differently. Something like the Warriors and the CCMs tend to fit slightly shorter and wider, a bit more of a traditional fit, whereas something like the Reeboks tend to fit for a lot taller, slimmer players. So taking a look at a pair for myself, what shorts would you recommend I get? Okay, so what kind of level are you playing? Are you playing contact or non-contact? It's, it's going to be contact. It's going to be contact. Okay, so for your kind of physique, I'd be recommending maybe the Reeboks, because they're quite slim and quite narrow around the legs. Also, I'd be recommending something around about the 16K, because it's quite a high-level pant, but not quite the price point of the Pro Pants. So, taking a look at the um, leg pads, this is something that's always confused me because of the different shapes and brands that are out there. Uh, what are the things I need to keep in mind when I'm looking at picking up a pair for myself? Okay, so the main thing to consider is that when you put them on, your knee sits right in the centre of the knee cup and it's not interfering on your skates when you put your skates on. Obviously, if they're too long, when you put your skates on and they push up on your leg pads, it'll push your knee out of the right place and then when you land on your knee, all the protection's in the wrong place. There is a rough size guide on the side of some of the leg pads, but it is a rough guide, so it is best to try some on. So if I was thinking about something like the CCM or the Reeboks, is there a difference between the way those two brands fit, for example? Yeah, so the Reeboks tend to fit shorter and wider, the opposite from the way their shorts fit. And again with the CCMs, the opposite from their shorts, they tend to fit slimmer and taller. So if I'm thinking about getting something in the CCMs, uh, what ones should I look at getting? So I'd be recommending something like the CCM RBZ 130s, uh, because the protection you're getting for that price point is going to be great for your level of play. So now taking a look at elbow pads, is there anything that I need to keep in mind while I'm looking at these? So the main thing to consider with the elbow pads is the length and the width. Especially, you don't want them so long that they're going to impede on your gloves, uh, but you don't want them where there's no slash protection at all. And also, you don't want them really tight so that they're cutting the blood supply off to your hands, but you don't want them that they're sliding down your arms. And with the different brands, is there like different sort of widths or sizes or, you know, actual um, fits between them or...? So all the brands come in different sizes. The main things to consider, CCMs tend to fit quite short, so there's not a lot of slash protection there. And the Warriors are very, very bulky. They offer a really nice comfort, but they're quite big. And if I was going to be looking at getting a pair, um, which ones would you say would be good for my level of play? So I'd be recommending something like the Reebok 14Ks, just because they offer a nice level of protection. They're quite slim fitting, and the price point's quite nice as well. So now moving on to gloves, um, what are the things I need to keep in mind with this area? Okay, so the gloves, with all the ranges, there's generally two different fits. There's the four roll, which tend to fit quite wide, and your hand moves about inside. And then there's the more modern gloves, which taper, and they tend to move with your hand rather than your hand moving about inside. That's personal preference as to which one you prefer. Other than that, the main thing to consider is the size. So to measure, we'd measure from your elbow to the gaps between your fingers with your hand out flat. And that's a rough guide as to what size gloves you need. So keeping those points in mind, um, which scarves would be good for me to use? So you measured out as 13 inches, so it's personal preference as to which kind of style you go for, but you, you like the CCM ones, didn't you? Yeah, I really <laughs> like the red ones. Taking a look at body armour now, um, what are the things we need to keep in mind in this area? Okay, so the main thing that we look at when sizing someone for body armour is that their shoulders are landing right in the centre of the cups, 
because if they're dropping too low or coming up too high it's where you're going to get injuries from from impact actual chest protection throughout different models doesn't change that much but it does change within the range from the different manufacturers so the lower models again are going to be a bit more flimsy not offer quite the same protection and the top of the range models are going to be really sturdy so taking a look at the different brands and how they match up to each other are there any brands that are really really different fitting from the others the main things to look at fit wise is the CCMs tend to be quite small and compact, something like the Reebok tends to be a bit more bulky and something like the Warrior has huge shoulder caps but still fits quite snug around the chest. So keeping those points in mind, what armour would you recommend for myself? Okay, so what position do you play in? I'm hoping to go for right wing. Okay, so with playing up front we maybe want something a bit more compact, a bit easier to move in, so I'd be recommending something like the CCMs. For your level of playing, maybe the RBZ-110s. So now taking a look at the sticks, what are the things I need to keep in mind when I'm trying to pick up one of these? The main things to look at is the curve on the blade. So you want to go for something pretty generic to start off with. Uh, maybe something like a 19 curve on the Reeboks and the CCMs, or an E3 Hall curve on the Eastins. Uh, just because it does everything that you want to do, and once you've worked out what position you want to play, what kind of shots you like taking, you can move, progress a bit more from there, and select a curve that's more, more your type of curve. The other things to look at is the flex of the shaft. Generally speaking, the senior sticks come 85 and 100, and then if you're a really big guy, you could get maybe 110. Um, you want a stick that you can bend slightly, but isn't going to wobble as you're trying to stick handle, but you want to be able to bend it slightly as you're shooting and passing. How do I figure out if I'm left or right-handed? Okay, so generally speaking, you're going to want to have your strong hand at the top of the stick, but it is really personal preference and what feels more comfortable to you. And um, working out the length? Generally, we'd say, when you on your skates, your stick wants to be somewhere between your chin and your nose. Uh, but again, it is personal preference. Some people do like it a little bit shorter, some people like them a little bit taller. So what stick would you recommend for myself? So for the price point and because you're playing up front, I'd be recommending something like the Reebok 24K. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd probably be saying something like a 75 Flex uh, because we're going to need to cut a little bit off it and it will stiffen up as you cut some of it down. With helmets, what do I need to keep in mind when I'm trying to get one? Okay, so helmets are an important part because obviously they're protecting an important part. Uh, the main things to consider is that it fits well. We struggle to fit to a budget um, because if a helmet doesn't fit you, we wouldn't want to sell it to you. Uh, the different models fit slightly differently. Something like the Reeboks tend to fit quite a bit wider than the Bowers, um, but you do get the different sizes within the range and they are slightly adjustable. Also, you need to consider what kind of level you're playing at as to whether you go for a cage or maybe a visor. If you're under 18, you have to go for a cage. Um, as you get older, you get the choice, uh, but it depends what kind of level you're playing at. If you're playing at kind of rec hockey level, you might want to stick with a cage because sticks and pucks flying all over the place, you might end up with a stick in the face. Um, as you get to a higher level, you might want to switch to a half visor and then maybe nothing at all, but that all depends on personal preference. So keeping all that in mind, um, what helmet would be good for me to go for? Okay, so for you, I'd be recommending something like the Bauer 4500. Uh, it's a mid-level helmet, but it's sort of the classic helmet, still used by lots of players in the NHL. Don't forget your other essentials, your jock, socks, shirt and underkit. Finally got all my kit from Puckstock, so now it's time to hit the ice.